What's up, people? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a new lease on life. That's right. Just came back from Hawaii, Maui, specifically. It's just a vibe over there. I did a show at this wonderful place called The Playground with Trish Dish and her man, Chino. Chino opened up, killed it. Power Up Comedy. It's called Wonderful Room. Wonderful place, wonderful food, wonderful owners, wonderful island, wonderful vibe. I could have just, re- I started getting going at six days. I was like, damn, I've never liked this. And so I was like, this is just the ocean, getting in front of that sun, doing a luau, getting those vibes. There's so much going on right now that I was like, I'm in such a good place, but the world is unfolding in a, in a beautiful way. There's a lot of things being revealed, and I have so much to say on it. But the people that are surprised by Balenciaga, you only have yourself to blame. Anytime anyone said anything remotely controversial or said some things that were out of the ordinary, you called them conspiracy theorists, just like you did with the Vax. When on my timeline, five out of the last eight posts are tributes to dead people who died suddenly. I just came back from Hawaii. I'm in a good mood, but I'm pissed. I don't have time to convert thick-headed people. I don't want to curse, but I really do. The problem is, is that so many of you are highly educated, but emotionally sedated. You think you know so much because you're educated by your books, but you're not smart in the world at all. You're not smart in experiences. You're not smart in travel or human experiences of having situational awareness and you can say whatever you want about me I didn't go to college but I got a four-year start on the fucking world before a lot of people did and there's a lot of ignorant people that have come out of college emotionally stunted people so when I see this Balenciaga I think about how many times people have tried to tell you things you didn't want to accept it I, I think about all the times people have said well this doesn't seem right you didn't want to accept it So now the chickens are coming home to roost because we live in a society that worships hollowness and consumes idolatry. Hey, I'm part of it. I'm part of Hollywood. I'm part of giving you product to consume. Nothing nefarious, but I can't sit here and blame you because if you didn't consume, I wouldn't have a a life. I'm just mad at all the dismissive assholes. So... As the Balenciaga thing grows, which I hope it does, I want every dismissive asshole who talks shit about things that I can't talk about, but a lot of conspiracies in this space, I want those assholes to be held accountable. And for every fucked up thing we find out about this situation, I want you to put it at that asshole's account and go, hey, asshole, look at this, asshole, because that's how I feel right now. I'm fucking pissed off. And I just came from fucking Hawaii. Fucking Mauna Lua, the god Kiki, or Pili, Pele, is blowing her top. And I hope she blows it all over this earth. 38 fucking years. Why did fucking volcano go off when I'm there? You know why. Because I have that ability to make women fucking squirt lava. Famous volcano women. <sighs> Here's the situation. Fashion is fucking weird. Let's be real. <laughs> Art is weird. There's just a lot of dirtiness in those worlds. I'm not in them. You just, it's just weird. Fashion people are fucking weird. Like you get a weird vibe. Art people. You always hear there's laundering of money in art. Fashion. Just fucking, just the fucking fringes of society. And they're humorless. These fashion brands, these artists, they're humorless. Making cockamamie shit. And they're humorless. They're fucking humorless. The Balenciaga shit, way more than just a coincidence. You first have to open up your mind to, do you believe in Satanism? Do you believe it as in a practice? Do you believe it as a religion for some people? Have you ever met a Satanist? Do you understand what they believe? Have you ever heard of them? So if you do, have you ever heard of the term as above, so below? Have you ever heard of the term do what thou wilt? Have you ever seen symbols of this and this and all weird shit? Have you ever seen overly tattooed celebrities out of the blue. These are all different things within this world, if it exists. Have you ever shit on somebody and said you're crazy, you're a conspiracy theorist? 
when they've tried to tell you something that is very hurtful to your ears. If you believe that, let's not go down the rabbit hole and say, sell your soul to the devil. That might be too extreme for people to understand. But let's say that if you pray, if like our people pray to God and they have a something good come out of it, like a miracle, out of that, do you believe that people can pray to God and go, oh my God, is there a God? Do you believe that you can pray? Do you believe that the law of attraction works? Do you believe in energy? So you have to figure out what you believe and then you have to add on something called Satanism and see if you believe in it. Does it exist? Is it Satan? Is it a belief? Is it a way of life? What is it? Well, in my opinion, it's no different than Buddhism or Catholicism or Judaism. It's just another belief system that people practice. And a lot of people say Aleister Crowley. A lot of people say L. Ron Hubbard. There's all different offshoots, the Masons, all of these different things. So if you believe that that can exist and you believe that people practice it and you believe if they practice it, things come out of it, this is the next thing that leads to it, which is Balenciaga. So now you can either fucking say, oh, people prayed and good things happened or he prayed and he got a home run and won the ball game or he prayed to Satan and whatever. Let's just say there is ritualistic practices that one does in that religion to, to, to make their things come true. If you can believe that, that's where it leads you to Balenciaga. Now, I'm not an expert on this. I don't know the rules of Satanism. I know a few things. I don't know any real Satanists. I've met a few. To be honest with you, the few people I met were very cool. And I've actually heard that there's a whole sect of Satanism. It's like, hey, man, just be free. But I, you know, I don't really know them. But I met this woman one time. She's pretty cool. She was telling me about how to freedom and stuff, but she was all about Baphomet. She told me some stuff. You know how he's a woman, he's a goat. So I don't know why I'm talking about this, but it's just so everywhere. And I just want to try to break it down in the most common sense form. First of all, the conspiracy theorists are right. <laughs> it's not funny. It makes me mad that you can't fucking accept them. They're right. They're right. The reason why they don't want you to talk and do your own research on the internet with the COVID vaccine is the same reason that this is coming to happen. Because when people get together, a hive mind, everyone is Perry Mason. You're going to find evidence. That's what happened with Balenciaga. This wonderful TikToker, this girl, that's the first thing I saw. It. She dug it up and I'm, then Tucker did something and I was like, fuck yeah. Then this whole thing became revealed and it's growing. And I'm trying to talk to you about it in the clearest way possible. <sighs> Again, what is it? What do these people believe in? They believe, apparently, some shit with, with kids. So you, the question is, whatever they're doing, first of all, people have been telling you about this forever. Balenciaga, I don't know anything about it. All I know, it's an Italian brand. They have ball in it. Ball is a god, a demon. In order to suffice that demon, people have sacrificed children to him. That is the legacy lineage rumor of this so-called demon, god, entity, whatever you want to call it. Ball was on the tape in the Balenciaga shoot. Shoots are not just regulated. Shoots go from the top. Very, very... A Instagram post from these people would be super highly regulated. So a whole photo shoot? Insane. Look at the photographer. Look at her history on Instagram. It's insane. The first thing you're saying to yourself is, why would they do this? Well... If they're Satanism and they believe in this stuff, this is part of what they do. And they do it because they believe that by doing it, they'll get all the riches in the world. And what do they have to do to do it? Apparently, horrific things. Now, the thing that always got me was, why would they do it? They call in plain sight. Why would they do that in plain sight? You're going to get busted. And I never knew why. Until, you know, Sam Tripoli has a great take on it. But one of the simplest things is, is it's act because I never could understand it either. Like, yo, if you're going to steal money, why steal money and tell people I'm going to steal your money? Why not just steal the money? So there is something in the occult, in Satanism, in the occult, in these different things called the revelation of the process and revelation of the process is revealing what you're going to do, showing your hand, and then, because by doing this simple act, it is what will give you the power to pull off such act. 
Now, that was the part I didn't understand. So imagine it's like this. Because I would say, why do this? Just do it and never be talked about it, right? That's the rub. I equate it to vampires. A vampire can never come in your house, whether you believe in vampires. I 100% believe in vampires. They're another form of the occult. They're real. And there's a lot of history you can read about them. And there's different versions of them. But if you listen to the lore of vampires and you believe it, vampires can never come into your house or place of dwelling without being invited. Why? I think it has to do with the same thing, this revelation of the process. It's the same thing with Adam and Eve, whether you believe that or not, even if it's a parable. The snake tells you this is the bad apple, but it's the juiciest. You're not supposed to bite it. It's the best. It's up to you to decide not to invite a vampire into your house. And I always wondered why these people show their hands. And then I realized because once you do, you give power to said entity. And then they were able to pull off this process of whatever they're doing guilt-free whatever that's called karmic retribution or whatever but the act of you co-signing this behavior that they know in the world that we are taught is wrong it somehow gives this act power and then they do it i know it sounds fucking a lot But if you understand is as above, so below, that the world is actually inverted, that everything they say is the truth is the opposite. I know this is going weird, but for instance, meat, meat and fat are supposed to give you cholesterol. (sighs) Long story, cholesterol is not really that bad for you. It has to do with a con job of the FDA in the mid 50s where there's one part of cholesterol that if it gets too high, it's not great. But there's a difference between high cholesterol and actual arterial blockage. And as we're finding out more and more, seed oils and other things are worse for you than beef tallow. Processed foods, all these different things are blocking our arteries more than beef tallow. (sighs) So what am I saying? I'm saying that I feel we're in a place in this world that I have never seen that I feel could really fucking upend everything in a good way. You can look at Balenciaga and you can take 20 things from that photo shoot and look at other companies. Look at the symbols. People have been talking about this for years on YouTube. All them, They all got kicked off. They're called conspiracy theorists. But these people are way ahead of the game. And you're like, why do they reveal themselves? Well, you have to in order to make the spell work. That's what gives it its power. It is like a conundrum. It's fucking wild. And if you look at every celebrity that is involved with them, if they're not saying anything, (laughs) where there's smoke, there's fucking fire, dude. (laughs) Just do the research. Yo, like, it's crazy. And no one is coming and saying, yo, what are you doing? Like, there's just, come on, man. Some of these people cannot be this successful. Do you know who's successful in a natural way? Ben and Jerry. Two stoners that fucking put ice cream together in a real way. And they're like, man, I'm fucking hot. It was a, let's take some fucking, let's do fucking marshmallow, peanut butter, uh, 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 CBD, yeah, fuck yeah, dude, like fuck, Marsha PDD, like I'm tired, my brain is not thinking right now, but like those are people that I, I think were like naturally like successful. There's gonna be people like that, but for a lot of these people, and you see some unworldly powers, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's get weird, or some people are a little too perfect. You're like. Ooh. I don't know, man. Just look around. Look around. I show you who I am, warts and all. You know, people call me names, but I ain't fucking perfect. You don't see a clean crafted image here because I'm real. I'm transparent. Mm, A lot of these people, man, 
they just seem how did they get so big how did they get so big why was that a hit what the fuck talk about the music business how frequency and music changed how that is something to do with it and how it hypnotizes people it always starts in the music business you look at the movie business look at predictive programming probably that is a form of revealing the process think about that the movies aren't the movies by chance the movies are the beginning of the process of indoctrinating you into a belief system programming you programming you why do you think you see these movies and then you start to see things happening years later that were just like the movie that is not by accident do i have proof of this no do i believe it yes am i a good source maybe why do i have to say all this why am i so fascinated to say this because i hate fucking hypocrisy i hate fucking people that completely it fucks our world up when people are like this this and this and really behind closed doors they're fucking shit in this case potentially evil it's happening right now all over the world people act one way and they're another and I'm a, I'm a, I always feel disenfranchised. I always feel like, well, why don't, why don't I, why doesn't that car make me happier? Why don't I have a, 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 a water beachfront house or how come I, I wasn't in this movie or what? Well, how, how come? Oh, I know why. Because I don't play the game because I'm living like the average Joe. I mean, I'm not, but I am. I may be in a different ball game and it's a little weirder for a job than most people, but I still have the mentality of a regular Joe. Work hard, be good at your job, make money, get success. Rinse, repeat. That's my whole career. Audition, audition. Be good, send muffins to the casting director, know your lines, do a good job, be a good person, rinse, repeat. That only takes you so far, I think. Because I look around, I'm like, how this motherfucker is? How this motherfucker is? Huh. And Balenciaga comes along, and I'm like, mm, okay. My shit, I'm not crazy. This whole system is a work. It's got me really believing it's a work. Yo, dude, there are people out there. You have to look at them and go, who do they fucking roll with? Who are they doing? What's this there? I hope the whole thing comes tumbling down. Because then I'll go, oh, my God, I wasn't wrong. There is just weird shit. Have I ever seen it? No. Have I heard it? Ish. Have I ever felt it? Yeah. Just like, yeah, that's weird. That's weird. That's weird. So it's like, what what am I into? I'm into you. I'm into I think if you do a good job, you have a good set, you should get another set. If you have a good audition, you should get a call back, you should get a part. I'm very basic. Keep it simple. Pay me for my time. I'll give you a good show. The rest of this shit though isn't like that. Like, let me put a kid in some for the teddy bear with BDSM because I made a deal with Baphomet in order to get my brand $10 billion. And now if I'm linked to that brand, I'm also getting money. So let me co-sign this behavior because it's part, that's what that's what's going on, in my opinion. This shit could take down the whole fashion industry and then you're going to work your way over to the art business and then you're going to work your way over to the music business. And then you're going to work your way over to the Hollywood business. And this whole thing can burn. Low key on the high note. Has it ever been this weird? And by the way, let it burn, man. Let it burn. If it's bad, burn it the fuck up. Burn that shit up. Everybody who's scared of free speech on Twitter. When t I get hate speech at me every day. People talk shit about me, my life, my career, my ball spot. Whatever. You don't see me going, eh, huh, I free... They have the right to say it. I don't like it. It hurts my feelings. I don't search for it. But do you see this shit on Twitter? One time I logged on Twitter, my buddy showed me something. And it was something fucking, he was trying to be funny. And it was a fucking like sex act that had to deal with a fist. And I'm like, what the fuck are you showing me this for, bro? I haven't had coffee yet. He's like, yo. And it had like a funny caption. I don't remember. And I was like, dude. But that was on Twitter. That should never be on Twitter. That shouldn't even be on RedTube. That shouldn't be anywhere. It shouldn't be recorded. It's disgusting. Get your fucking life together. You have to put your fist up someone's rectum. Get your fucking life together. Get a job. Start working out. Look at yourself. Look at your problems in your life. Get it together. And anybody who makes those things as a sex toy, look at yourself. Get your life together. Get your fucking spirit hole, you fucking animal. Be normal. Grow up. Fucking have a hamburger. Have fries. Have a Coca-Cola. 
Keep it simple. But there's some shady people that look shady, look at their shit. They seem shady. They're successful. Do you love them? Why are they successful? Who do they roll with? I roll with you. I roll with the people. I roll with you. If you like me, that's it. If you don't like me, then I got to do better. The last thing I'll say is I low-key think Catholicism is inverted. Why are there so many priests touching these boys? Are they just horny, drunk old men? Are they perverted? Or is there something deeper there? It's not one or two cases. It's a million. Why is that? And I tell you, I used to have a joke. Don Myrera had a similar one. But I was an altar boy for like four years. I wasn't even touched. It made me feel like I wasn't cute. So I had to join the Boy Scouts. And they knew how to party. No, but why? No priest ever fucked with me. Maybe because they knew that I bucked back. They try to come. I bucked back, Father. You want to get with me? Why don't you have a little bit of this fucking wine first, Father? <laughs> I'm fucking crazy right now, but seriously, why did why why is that so prevalent in the Catholicism? Why is the Pope where he says mass look like a snake? Why is behind him the statue of Jesus in a nuclear holocaust? It's weird. My suggestion is go out to the sun, get some fucking sun, sun your butthole, walk up a mountain, get one with the earth, and don't be scared to expose the truth. But this shit is just the beginning. And if it's done correctly, it's gonna upend everything.